Farscape engineers, inspect the summary video part three. We're now dealing with a Farscape here that has the cantilever. There's a release arm here, not really an industry standard release arm, but its intention is to be here and as you can see it swings out and down there it's supposed to go underneath the cantilever so that when I push this bar away that's supposed to be blocking my way here and I push it away, she's supposed to drop this cantilever two to three feet per second, hit the ground and stay down. So she's out of balance. Looks like somebody just put in a whole bunch, bunch of more weight in here. And the biggest problem with an open box like that is that it tends to collect debris, which it is, rust, and as rust grows, it actually adds weight to the box. So that's one more reason why, you know what I'm saying? That the thing is out of balance. Another thing too that you'll notice on this, this is an all welded box back here. So everything's welded, 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 welded. So a lot of times these welded boxes, they start falling apart because of rust jacking, ice jacking, um, and they just start ripping tear all these welds. And these boxes are very dangerous. So as you can see, a lot of substandard welding going on. A lot of substandard. So here's, here's a three-quarter pocket. Here's what a three-quarter bolt looks like. And one of the things we want to verify in here, and it, it, to me it looks like it's an epoxy bolt, but uh, there's a lot of times when you have too many of them, it's an indication that somebody is not using the correct size, um, the correct type of bolt. So this might be an expansion bolt as opposed to an epoxy bolt. We'll have to verify that. And a lot of times by them using too many, that's an indication because all, all you really need is a couple of properly in installed epoxy bolts. Anything more than that, it starts an indication that somebody is, you know, trying to hide something. So that's a concern. So this release arm is substandard. I mean, it'll do the job, but it's substandard. And then you have this cantilever now that I have to walk out on. Okay, I have to walk out on this cantilever in order to make it come down. So here I'm going to go slowly, one step at a time. Now, during an emergency, you don't have this kind of ability to be ginger about your, your stepping down on this thing. And as soon as I step off, she will go right back up. So I'm already out to the sixth step, and she hasn't hit the ground yet. Seventh step. And so she's not even touching the ground for some reason. So she's, something happened here. I think she's got a little foot, but now she's, now she's touching ground. So, and as soon as I step off, oh, as soon as I step off, she just starts coming right back up very quickly. She'll go up by herself. So, so a lot of these connections, all welded. So there's the release arm that's not acting properly right now. There's a lot of the welded brackets that we are very concerned about. So um, the fact that they're showing water corrosion inside them already, uh, these need to be rebolted. Um, you can't weld these because you know the weld creates a requirement for us to X-ray them or load test them. But look at all that rust getting in there. The water got got in there. The water's gotten into this plate at the very bottom. You see all that rust in there? So that's because water's accumulating inside the box because it's not a covered box. So I recommend that this box gets covered. Otherwise, just through na natural freeze and thaw and rust jacking, look, she's already splitting steel. Another indication that this thing wasn't properly balanced is this chain, which is an indication that the, the fire escape wasn't uh, built to uh, come down all the time and that release arm is not acting properly. Now, looking underneath here, another issue, you know, half inch bolts, half inch expansion bolts where there should be, as the law requires, three quarter epoxy bolts. I need one on that side, I need one on this side, epoxy bolts, and those can stay, but I need epoxy bolt on this side and on that side. I need to confirm that these are epoxy bolts, otherwise I need epoxy bolt primarily up by that bracket. I need these, some of these welded connections that are uh, rebolted so that we can basically not have to x-ray or, or load test those connections. As you come down the cantilever, you start seeing rusty tears coming down a lot of these. Okay. And then, and then as you start going up there, you can start seeing the, uh, the same thing with the, with the epoxy, I mean with the expansion bolts, half inch expansion bolts on that bracket up above. And that bracket up above, and that reverse bracket, which is not correct, is also adding and lending support. There's a rod that comes down here to this here. So, Farscape has definitely got issues, and again, it's all about the connections into the building. They're suspect. Um, we've got 
definite rust growing in all the treads. There's another great shot of a rusted, a rusted weld that's, on, that's already been eating and getting eaten from the inside out, from the backside. So some of these are gonna have to be dealt with. Silicone shut all your major connections so that the rust will stop growing like it's doing now. And so this Firescape, even though it looks fairly new, great construction, new grading, new treads, the, the method of connection is not uh, standard, not to code, and should have been picked up during the, dur during the, the permit process. And uh, at this time, what we'll do is we'll issue a finding. We recommend highly to the client that they get a, a second opinion from a registered professional, be it an architect or a registered structural engineer, and they can review this finding and call us and discuss whether or not they concur with our findings. But at this time, this Firescape does not pass the initial examination, cannot be certified at this time, and cannot be tested at this time. Any questions, Firescape engineers? 866-649-0333. This is Cisco Manessis. Firescape Engineers inspect the summary video part two. We're here in Boston, and this is a fire escape that is an all welded fire escape. And uh, right now, I can't issue a certificate or an affidavit on this fire escape for the or test this fire escape. There's a few concerns I have, so I will go down. All welded, fairly new, probably 15 years in the making that this thing was, you know, the, in the past 10 to 15 years, this fire escape was installed. I'm sure with a permit. Looks like it's part of the condo conversion. All right, my first concern is, again, welded connections, okay, all welded. And uh, as you can see already in here, water starting to intrude into the weld, so this needs to be x-rayed or load tested, or if you put in a clip here and you bolt it on both sides, you can leave the original weld, bolt it, there is no liability. Otherwise, I can give an opinion on this weld, say that I feel it's in good order, but I need to disclaim any liability associated with it should, because I don't have x-ray right now. I, I don't want that liability, but I will... By as soon as you put a clip on here and you bolt it on both sides, there's no liability for anyone because we certified it in lieu of a load test. Otherwise, x-ray or load test is what I want on any of these walls for me to sign off on. Okay? Let's go down a little bit. The, uh, for some reason, I don't know why, they have three-quarter, uh, and I believe these to be Hilti epoxy bolts on the bottom, but they're only using, which is not industry standard and not to code, they're using... Um, expansion bolts, half inch expansion bolts to hold up this platform. Now those need to be a minimum of three quarter and they need to be epoxy bolts or through bolted into the building. At this time I don't believe any of the platforms here are properly attached. Again, the quick fix here is that four to six inches away, right there you're gonna put a new through bolt epoxy bolt so you don't probably you don't have to go inside and disturb, no plate on the inside. And uh, that epoxy bolt will basically now be a three-quarter epoxy bolt that will then pick up this corner and this will be a proper bracket. This bracket is welded at the bottom, welded up here, it needs to be x-rayed or load tested, or I can give you an opinion that it looks good at this time, but the, I do see water intrusion getting in there, so I will, if I do sign an affidavit on this, I want the liability disclaimer. Okay, going down all these treads. All the treads look good, but you see this green starting to get in here? See that green? That's water starting to penetrate in there and it's starting to come down. In certain areas, you're going to be able to see rusty tears coming down your fire escape treads, which I'll show you. So, see? See the rusty tears? That's starting to eat the, any well from the inside out. See the rusty tears? See the rust right there? That's telling you that that's eating that well from inside out. We know this. We've been involved in a case involving welds and it, the liability is super high. You don't want any liability associated with welds. 
Most fire escapes in the U.S., 95, 98% of all fire escapes are bolted connection fire escapes. And so that means every connection is a bolt. When you make every connection a weld, you, you tend to have a problem because as it expands and contracts uh, over time, it rips a lot of these welds. I highly recommend you getting all these joints sealed so you stop getting water intrusion into this thing. Okay, so let's go down to the end here. Again, just tack welded down there. This needs to have a proper clip. You know I'm saying so just welded. So again, visually I can issue an affidavit, but I need a disclaimer because of the weld. It's not being x-rayed or low tested. And I can see visual that the water's getting in there and starting to work underneath the weld clips. And as we go down, you're gonna see more and more rusty tears coming from, from the fire escape treads. Now, one of the ways to avoid this is not only sealing these treads from above, pop a bolt into it. As soon as you pop a bolt into the treads going sideways and you seal it from above, you avoid the x-ray and you avoid the low test. And I can certify it without a disclaimer letter on this. But otherwise, this uh, fire escape, aside from having some support issues back into the building on these platforms, so I'm gonna go down to one more platform. So this whole entire um, platform is uh, the bolts that I'm going to show you from below are just half inch uh, expansion bolts and that is not proper. It's supposed to be three quarter epoxy bolts into this, not expansion bolts. Treads having the same issues as the ones from above. See? See all that rust is getting in there just behind the weld and now that weld is suspect. That weld is suspect. I mean, I don't see if, I don't foresee it falling in any time very soon, but that's my concern is she will give way so uh, everything all welded so as soon as you pop bolt into some of these things and you put you know the weld is not certified welder this is you know single uh, single bead on a, on a structural weld so put a bolt here put an angle clip here with some bolts we start eliminating a lot of these welds by going to a bolted connection we've got three quarters on that there but look at that those are all half inch expansions and you can't use expansion bolts you're supposed to be use hilti bolts three-quarter hilties back into the building and all you need is one down at that end three-quarter hilti and you need one down at this end three-quarter hilti that makes a part of this frame and part of this support and that's what's happening up there half-inch expansion as you can see that just comes right out of the building so those are really just hilly just grabbing onto the brick veneer that's in, that's a that's in, incorrect now I'm gonna end on this platform and then start another video clip that includes the, the cantilever down below this is an expansion bolt. Look, this is a half inch expansion, half inch expansion bolt. This is supposed to be, because this is a reverse cantilever bracket, this is supposed to be a uh, three quarters epoxy bolt into the building. If we have wood behind here or we have a problem, then we gotta go in with the plate. So again, we'll discuss this with the, the uh, city official, um, but this is not the code or not to uh, industry standard. So uh, not to code, not the industry standard. This should have been picked up during the permit process. When the city official walked this job, he would have found this to be not to code, not the standard. So and then welded connection. See the welded down there? As soon as you pop in a bolt down there, you start eliminating the need for x-rays. See, welded connections there, welded. So the water's definitely pooling, getting underneath these. And that's the beauty about bolted connections. As you can see there, all these bolted connections allow this thing to breathe. Uh, but when you weld them, it's a frozen uh, connection and they start tearing and ripping and opening and then the water gets in there on both of these. So let me show you a couple more uh, rust spots. See? This is the rust spot getting in there trying to eat that weld. There's another rust spot trying to eat the weld just in front of it. So again, at this time it looks like the fire escape because of its age it's got a few more years. How many years more? We're not willing to risk that without a disclaimer. Uh, but again, the, the welds are substandard. You know, these are not certified welding connections. This is a single line, kind of bubbly. So anybody looking at this weld will identify. We highly recommend that at this time you also get an, a second opinion. So should you have a design professional that you've worked with in the past, such as a registered architect or registered engineer, get this information off to them and have them look at it and concur with us or not uh, to, their, to the feeling about. But this is, this is, these rusty tears are an indication that water does want to try to get in there and that uh, you know, all welds should be x-rayed 
or load test it, but at this time the city only requires an affidavit. Okay, and we're coming down here, and now we're going to start on this level here, and that will include the cantilever. Any questions? Fire escape engineers, inspector summary video, and there's just like another quick shot of the, ex the half inch expansion bolts, which is not industry standard or code compliant on a platform of this size. They should be at least three quarters, and here's where they put the three quarters. If they had put the three quarter, these three quarters up there and those half inches down here, this thing would have been the code. So this is a non, this is not the code right now as we, as we see it. engineers inspect the summary video we're here in Boston and we have a fire escape here that uh, is being examined and uh, to determine whether it can be certified and or, or tested at this time as per mass building code 1001.3 uh, at this time the fire escape has a few issues which I will talk about in the in detail now on the video um, that are welding related and connection related that uh, once those matters are resolved, we can either issue uh, an affidavit with a um, disclaimer, or we can proceed to a load test if that's what they wish to do at this time with this fire escape. Um, but the fire escape is a fairly new construction, but at this time we cannot issue uh, an affidavit and the following reasons are gonna be. So let's start here first with this one. Um, this is a pre-existing fire escape balcony uh, with a ladder so some original hardware and some welded connections uh, so the original hardware is usually when you see um, any connections that have square head bolts and so a square head bolt would be in that connection there as you can see so the bolt is in there and when you come over to this side you can see that the nut is pretty much eaten on that side so things like that that needs to be swapped out and then we can basically issue uh, an affidavit on this. We have welded connections that came in, uh, so very poor connections here, as you can see. So some of these welded connections are now suspect, so what we need to do is we need to sister that and put in a couple of bolts. As soon as we put in some bolts, we can eliminate the need for either x-ray or load testing of that connection. As you can see, some poor welding on that one also. Once we sister that with a bolt, uh, bolt a bolt here and a sistering there, so that will eliminate that need, but as you can see, she, the, the water gets into these welds, makes them weak, and then uh, whether or not they'll last five years is suspect on that, okay? Original hardware back into the building. Uh, again, visually, she looks good, so we can issue an opinion, and uh, that opinion affidavit for the city of Boston will have to come with a disclaimer, but otherwise, you swap those out, there is no disclaimer, and uh, you have a fire escape that's now been certified because you've swapped out things. So we have welded connections, so some issues with the welder the guy that was here before that that is problematic you're gonna see here instead of changing bolts a little bit of welding see the welding right there on that corner but then you see 
the welding is not proper up there. See how it's out of alignment and just looks like a tack weld happened up there. Same thing, they, instead of changing the bolts, they just put some welds in there. Now these welds are exposed and they're showing signs of water intrusion and corrosion. So as soon as you put a bolt back in there and you seal those up, we don't have those concerns. So let's get a, looks like they put a temporary bolt there. See that? But again, they didn't tighten it correctly. Cement looks good into the building. So I would recommend sealing those so that the water doesn't get back in there. And the fire escape is in need of a paint job. And this one needs, this one can get away with a spot paint uh, to make it pass. Um, the other fire escape, same thing. You know, there's, there's still enough paint on this fire escape so that if you want to spot paint all the rust, uh, all the rusty spots, but she's, she's looking good. So it's really going to be a structural issue on this fire escape. But part one is welded connections, some bolting on this one. Once you get that out of the way, this piece of the fire escape can be certified. And again, we, we leave behind any original hardware that's in fair to good condition. An affidavit will be issued with a disclaimer of liability, which will be explained to the client. Firescape engineers, Firescape inspection, part one.